Hey folks, this is Jeff of SimSamurai.net. What you're looking at here is my little uh, trim wheel project. Actually, dual trim wheels for both pilot and uh, co-pilot here. And also, it includes a speed brake lever and a flap switch, which you don't see because that's actually hard mounted into the throttle quadrant uh, top deck. But uh, basically, this is an addendum video, so kind of a part five to my original trim wheel project and just wanted to show you the last and final modifications I had finished after making this prototype and uh, just kind of working out the bugs and getting a feel for it. Basically uh, in the first series of videos I showed you how to completely build this uh, in step-by-step -step detail from A to Z, a five-part series. Um, um, but what I modified really and one of the things I had discussed in the last videos was changing the gear ratio as a two to one and I actually kind of went to a three to one with the even smaller gear. I, I was originally using this larger one and then stepped it down to this one. So you can see that uh, that change there. And I also mounted this block uh, and drilled a hole in the side. Uh, you know, carefully marked the distance between these two out and I drilled in there to uh, support the potentiometer here for the trim. Um, but as you can see, I'm using a much smaller ratio gear here, which provides for about uh, two full circles uh, from neutral um, in either direction, back to neutral again, and then uh, you know two directions that way. So it's uh, got more, uh, I guess, sensitivity, uh, or maybe I guess rather less, less sensitivity, so that you can uh, turn this trim wheel more times to affect full trim in either direction. Um, and so basically, uh, you know, here's a potentiometer uh, hooked up uh, for the speed brake lever. Speed brakes up, speed brakes out. Um, and what you don't see again is the the, uh, the flap switch, which gets connected into the little desktop aviator 2090 board. Um, as you can see, the potentiometer for the uh, speed brake lever and for the trim are hooked up to this side, which is for your analog pots and then the other side over here uh, is for the uh, momentary toggle which is a on off on you know, spring return uh, toggle that goes in the middle on uh, this side up here and then actually when you hook this up on your computer there's a little program that comes with it the Leo Bodner uh, I believe it's called the encoder it looks like a little wrench icon that you'll see on your desktop and, and I forget what number it is but you have to go in and set whatever pin you're putting this on if you I think you put it in the zero top pin uh, I think which is what I do is uh, you have to set that to either one or zero in your software configurator in order to uh, get that those uh, flaps to work properly um, and that's about it for uh, this project it is complete again I did this for roughly a hundred dollars the board at desktop aviators fifty dollars uh, the rest of the parts were fifty dollars uh, I got the the wheels also from uh, Desktop Aviator that came with uh, my original trim wheel and he had included a second one upon request for about five bucks. Um, and uh, that's about it. Uh, I'm using a quarter inch steel rod here. Um, I've recessed these with a Forstner bit um, and put in roller blade bearings um, behind a cotter pin and a nylon washer. Really nice tight joint there. Same thing, really nice tight joint on this side. Uh, so this uh, you know trim wheel assembly doesn't have any back or forth play. Um, but now that I've got this in place and, and I'm nicely supporting the uh, main gear on the trim pot here, I'm hoping that it's going to last a long time. And basically, you know, I, I, I had hot glued this on either side. I could put a little set screw if I want to on there, but I also know that if I ever overstress this, I don't necessarily want to strip the gears. I think the glue is going to do a good job of holding. Uh, for a long time as, as long as I don't over crank on the trim in either direction so uh, I opted to not put a set screw there um, and we'll just ride with it like it is and uh, it attaches to the underside of my throttle quadrant top deck with four screws I put these uh, screws into a little rubber retainer so it's easier uh, for installation so they don't fall out when I'm trying to mount the deck or, or rather to the up uh, the underside of the top deck of the throttle quadrant um, so that's about it for the uh, uh, this project, for the, the trim, the speed brake lever, and the flap switch. If you have any more questions or uh, would like to know more, please visit my website at www.simsamurai.net. 
And you can always uh, reach me by email at simsamurai at earthlink.net. Thanks for tuning in, and I uh, hope you enjoyed my little tutorial series on uh, how to build some of your own flight controllers. Thanks, and uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.